Hả? Và không thủ hiếu heaven. Alright, welcome to another episode of our new launch show flat shoot and today we are here in District 23. Yes. Uh, we're going to bring to you one of the new launches that was uh, launched earlier this year, mm -hmm. I think right before CNY. Yeah, well, um, Hill here. Haven. Uh, we are in the Hillview area. I think this is more towards the Hillview MRT, Hillview MRT area. Yes. So towards the MRT, we're about four to five minutes. Four walk. minutes walk away. Yes. La. So actually where the MRT station is, right there, actually opposite the camera. So if you mm -hmm. do a tilt around, uh, maybe over here you probably can see the CC. So actually the actual land where Hill Haven is sitting on is actually right beside the CC. So the MRT station is actually around where the white color building is. So that's the Hillview MRT station. Probably from the land uh, where you walked from the project is about four minutes away. We are actually not on the actual site of Hill Haven construction uh, development. Yeah, in fact, the actual construction site, you can see the blue barricades. That is where the actual plot of Hill Haven mm. is because right in front, then there's a uh, Hill V2 mm. as well. Yeah, you can see that tall building right over there. So that will be the actual plot. Mm. We're here at the show flat today. So I think there's two show flat units In, that yep. we can view. Three plus study mm. and a uh, two, two bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. yeah, right. So we can head on in. There's a 3D model as well. Yeah. So we can bring you through in terms of the site plan and uh, the location. Yep. So Hill yeah. Haven is actually developed, jointly developed by Far East Organization yes. and Second Street House. So they are the one that does um, seaside residences. Yep. Uh, and of course, Far East organization is a big brand in Singapore. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they've done a lot of projects, residential uh, projects as well. So they yeah. are not um, a strange name. Even a the name, uh, reserve residences mm. are also done by Far East, just not too far away. Yeah. Yeah. So location-wise, Hillview area is definitely one of a very, I would say, a very low density, mm. uh, very quiet zone uh, in this side uh, yeah. of the Singapore. We are Hillview MRT station, one stop away, we reach, we bring you to Beauty World MRT, yes. Beauty World. A lot of transformation around the area. Mm. You have your reserve residences. Yes, um, you have your Bukit Timah Food Centre right over mm, there. Mm. And of course, along the entire Jalan Jurong Kechil, you have lots mm. of F&B shop houses. So that area is uh, recently, I mean, since the launch of reserve residences, has been gaining quite a lot of popularity mm. as well. A lot of rejuvenation yes. in the area. And then la. one stop down from Beauty World, that is King Park. King Abba Park, yes. And mm. in future, that will also be your Cross Island Line. Interchange. Interchange, yes. right. So I think right. in terms of connection wise, uh, it's a you know area where if let's say you are grow up in Bugi Panjang area mm. or you grow up in Hillview area, you like this entire spot. I think we have a lot of projects uh, that's ongoing right mm. here. You have your botany, yeah. you have your Hill Haven right here as well. Then of course there's some of the others uh, launch projects that's mm. also in construction uh, in construction right yeah, now. Not too far away, mm. Miss, all this. The Miss yeah. as well, yeah. So come, let's go into the show flat. So once you go into the show flat, uh, you'll be greeted with, of course, the 3D site model mm -hmm. and um, two other units, uh, show flat units that we will bring and show you to you. Yeah. So, uh, where Hill Haven is located, of course, we are right beside that Hill View uh, CC, mm -hmm. but we are also very close towards the Bukit Gombak Camp area. Mm -hmm. So, naturally, for a project that is located close to a military institution or military camp, then definitely there will be a certain level of um, I would restrictions, say, for privacy. restrictions for views yeah. uh, from a certain level onwards. We're going to share with you a little bit mm. about that as well because Hill Haven, for a certain orientation of units, more towards the north facing units, uh, you have a certain level yep. of facade design yep. that is being built in uh, to restrict the view of that uh, military compound. Mm. And mm. also, close towards this area of Hill View, mm. our plot ratio is also 2.8, which yeah. is why you do see higher uh, stories of mm. uh, building being constructed compared to the botany area where mm. most of the uh, Plot ratio is around 1.4. 1 1.4. So you're yeah. seeing slightly shorter, maybe about 14, 15 levels. Mm. So that's why the higher you go in terms of the facade, uh, because of the surrounding area, more some of the more sensitive uh, uh, plots, mm. then there will be certain facade design. Yeah. yeah. So over here in Hill Haven, your highest floor will go all the way up to level 27. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and it's only made out of two blocks only. Mm. Um, so it's actually two towering blocks yep. up to level 27. And I would say actually regardless of which unit you're at, right, you do get pretty nice views because you are also on uh, this uh, sort of unblock within mm. your own compound. Yep. Yeah, come. Let's go right in. Oh, 
Yeah, so as you walked in right here as well, right, immediately you'll be greeted with uh, the 3D site model. Mm. Uh, you have a very big location map of the place. Uh, you have also the uh, facilities uh, numbers as well. So maybe I will just share with you the facilities first. Lah. So once you walked in right over here, right, so on this particular drawing, uh, definitely you will see two blocks. So block number five and block number seven. Um, they are all naturally, uh, I would say, orientated along the north-south orientation. Mm. Okay, so uh, the bigger units, oh yeah, I think we forgot to mention uh, the number of units over here are made out of two beders all the way to the four beders. Yes. So you have a two bed, two plus study, three, three plus study, and four bedrooms. Yes. Right, so um, the four beder units are placed in stack number three and stack number eight. Naturally, why they do that is because um, I believe of orientation. Uh. So I think first and foremost, um, lower the south facing units are all facing towards the lander like, enclave. Yep. Hmm, right, the north facing units will be facing towards also uh, another project as well. Uh, north facing? This yeah. is towards the MINDEF. Correct, the MINDEF uh, side. Yeah, yeah, correct. So that's why later when you look at the mm. uh, site model, for 13 stories and above, you do have the screen, yeah. the privacy screen. Midwood. So on the north facing units, you will be facing towards the Midwood uh, project that is um, under construction as well, which will likely TOP by the end of this year. So in terms of facilities wise, I would say that it's pretty decent. Um, this project comes with a multi-storey car park. Yeah. Right? So the facilities are built on top of the multi-storey car park. Yeah. So all your swimming pool, your water bodies, uh, you know, all these are all on the surface of the multi-storey car park. Yeah. Right? So uh, we will bring you through the facilities, but in general, I would say that it pretty much comes with um, the necessary of a condominium. You have things that are very interesting, things like your rock climbing wall. Uh, you have a pickleball court instead of a normal so tennis court. So that's actually all the way at the corner mm. of the entire site map. Usually pickleball, um, I think it's also an activity that sometimes if the players are get, getting too hyped up, it may mm. cause a certain amount of uh, noise. Uh, noise as mm. well. So that's nice that the developer tucked it all the way at the corner mm. so it doesn't bother the residents over here. Mainly you see those that are closer towards the blocks are just your lawn spaces mm. as well and it's so really nice. I think a common theme, they have this uh, 13 which is your central lawn. Mm. Yeah, so a nice pocket of uh, space right in the middle and now a grand, grand entrance would be towards the centre. Yeah, you have your um, other things like your urban farm. Uh, just now I was uh, discussing with Joanne, uh, it's quite interesting to have like urban farm because uh, it actually cultivates yeah. the... Uh, some people they may have hobbies of growing green fingers and stuff like that. So naturally you have a restricted space in a unit, yeah. so you have a farm area that allows you to do that. Mm. Right, you have your kids pool, yeah. you know. And it's uh, nice that the developer also set aside all your generator towards the other side mm. of the facilities utilities area. So your substation is at the corner, E right over there, mm. whereas the generator is also at the other end. So, so at least for the residential mm. area, very safe. So you realise that it's all pushed all the way away from the residential blocks. Lah. So now of course, um, coming to the other drawing, right? so this is actually the whole entire location map. So naturally, this is very important for you to know what um, are around you, uh, the vicinity, what the amenities around your area. So naturally, you can see that um, the logo right there. So this is actually Hill Haven. So right around you, you are basically surrounded by the greens, the nature, you have your Boogie Bato. Uh, you have your Bukit Batok Nature Park, you have your Bukit Tiban Nature Reserve, uh, you have your little Kuiling Lake right there as well. But surrounding you, I mean, naturally, um, the most nearest um, amenities and malls will be your Hillview too. Right, so this is the basically the zoom in map of where we are. So Hill Haven is right here. So this is Hillview Community Club, which you saw just now earlier outside there. So right opposite you, this is Hillview too, which is a commercial area. Yeah. Midwood is under construction, uh, it'll be ready by the end of this year. Then, yeah. short walk away along Hillview Road will bring you to Hillview MRT Station. Yeah. And it's very convenient because uh, mm. Hillview 2 is actually a mixed development. Mixed development so, you yeah. have your residential up above, mm. you also have some shops down below. Mm. So, extremely convenient uh, to just head over. Otherwise, you also have like the malls around mm. uh, Hillian Mall, Bukit Panjang Plaza, mm. you have uh, West Mall at Bukit Batok area. So, mm. a lot, you're, you're very well served by all the amenities around as well. Yeah, so I think uh, um, recently a lot of attention has been brought into the Hillview area um, largely because uh, you know it becomes very convenient with that uh, downtown line. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With, because with this downtown line, naturally you know, you'll be able to go right to 
the Orchard area in a couple of stops because you realise that after King Albert Park, you go to 6th Avenue, Tan Kha Ki, then followed by Botanic Gardens and then you hit New Stevens, which will naturally bring you into Orchard area already. So naturally, people start to realise that actually, I don't really have to stay very, very close towards the city area. I can stay uh, probably about 15-20 minutes uh, MRT right away. You know, I'm in an area where I'm very close to the nature, I'm very close to, uh, you know, all these kind of like greens area, but yet that. I didn't compromise on that connectivity. Yes, mm. yes. And I think the sizes wise, I mean in terms of the quantum play, uh, of course when you're going down to the CCR area, easily at a sub 2 million kind of uh, benchmark pricing, you're not able to get like, uh, it would be quite hard la, to mm. find a proper 3 beta good size. But yet just a couple of stops down along the same downtown line, at the Hillview area, you have a lot of new projects. Mm. projects you have a lot of rejuvenation, you have great connectivity to all the greenery nodes. Mm. So I think it's also an area that a lot of our tenants or even mm. families are also looking towards yeah. uh, area as well. Right. Yeah. So of course, uh, in schools-wise, I think we are within one kilometre from CHIJ, Our Lady, Queen of Peace. Yes. Um, that's one of the schools that is within one kilometre away. Mm. Of course, you have uh, some of the other schools as well, your tertiary um, institution like your Nian Polytechnic. Mm. Nature-wise, you have your real corridor, nature park. So I think, in terms of location-wise, uh, if you do not want to be in a city centre, you know, bustling with a lot of like concrete um, buildings all around you, I think this is a very nice area where you may want to consider if you're looking for your next home that yeah. is close to nature. Exactly. You, just a quick uh, look at the map, right? You can see it's also really close by all these greenery spaces. And I would say in Singapore, uh, landscape right now, it's mm. really hard to find a lot mm. of these uh, huge, massive green spaces mm. all around. This right. area still remains one of the few mm. that are still you know, close by. I don't think all these, like, you know, Bukit Timah Nature Park, uh, all these uh, Chestnut Drive parks are going to go anytime soon. These I don't are definitely think they will. here to stay. Yes. So it's great for nature lovers. Mm. Yeah. And if we flip yep. on at the back, this will be your site uh, map. Yeah, so this project. is, uh, of course, a very important uh, uh, portion of the whole entire show flat uh, because this allows you to have a visual of the whole entire building, the development. Uh, in a 3D scale format. Um, this is uh, orientation wise, we are, I'm standing where the north of the project. Mm. So this is north, uh, where I am standing right here. This will be the Bugi Gompak camp area already. Mm. Not so close, but in general orientation direction, it is where uh, I am standing. So if you have a look at the, the development, Bari, if you pan it over, you will see that, uh, I'll, just, I'll just move, you stay where you are. Uh, this is level 13. Alright, so until here, this is level 13. So level four, level 13 and above, this is where you notice that in terms of the facade design, they have all these little screens at the side. So this is um, to protect the view of that very sensitive uh, compound, which is a Boogie Gombak cam. But naturally, it does not obstruct a view because you can still view straight. And that's the whole objective of this privacy screen. Mm. It's not allow you to view at the side. Yeah. But anything below 13, you still get a very normal kind of look and feel, right? Um, once again, this development uh, is features a multi-storey car park. So right in front of the two towering blocks mm. is this massive uh, multi-storey complex, uh, parking complex. Mm. Uh, on top of it, you have all your facilities, yeah. right? So right over here, barbecue piece, barbecue right? Barbecue pavilion. So you have yeah. two side by side. I mean, if you're having a large family hosting, mm. you're having your extended family, 30, 40 packs, you can easily just book out these two, have this whole corner to yourself. You're also mm. overlooking towards your main uh, sort of pool deck. 50 well. meters slab pool. Yeah, 50 meters slab pool, mm. very nice water feature right over there. Mm. And I think another thing about uh, multi story car park, um, mm. one thing that is great is because then you don't have to worry about connection. Mm. Sometimes certain basement car parks, you don't have reception. So when your mm. guests arrive, your family is here, it's really hard to get your connection and get in touch with them. So multi story car park gives you that uh, sort of, you don't have to worry about that as yeah. well. And it's also nice that the developer did all this landscaping design on top of the multi-storey uh, car park roofing. So mm. I think it's a, also a very smart use of the limited land that is available right here as well. So yeah. barbecue pit, your pool deck, and as we move towards the centre area, you have all these beautiful spa tubs that's right in the middle. And then towards there is also where you have your function room. Mm. Two sheltered uh, indoor function room for indoor hosting. Very nice space as well. From the size of the 3D modelling, I would say mm. that it's pretty rare to find a function room this big nowadays. Yes, la. yes. Because nowadays, function rooms are very small. Yeah. Yeah. This one, I think this is quite a big one, if you mm. ask me. Mm. Yeah. And then you have your gym right over here, your changing and steam, steam room. room. And yeah. then this is where you have your pickleball, pickleball court. Yeah, pickleball court right. right at the corner. So you still get to, you know, bring your family down to have 
a good time, uh, yet you don't have to worry about bothering your neighbours. And then there's a small little activity corner for the young ones and the kids pool as well. Mm. So I would say almost like a nice array of uh, facilities mm. throughout here. But let me draw your attention to this side gate. So mm. remember when we mentioned that the uh, connectivity from this development to the MRT station is about four minutes walk away. So um, the main entrance to this development is actually on the other side, right? Um, so that's the reason why you have this side entrance, which allows uh, you know the residents to walk uh, towards the MRT station in the shortest possible time. So actually from here, you hit four minutes walk away, you bring you to the MRT station, right? So the main entrance is actually right here. Uh, that is um, along Hillview Rise. Do note that this is a new road that will be constructed. So as you come in right here, you turn in. This will be your new. This will be the main entrance to Hill Haven. One interesting um, design that I see from this uh, 3D side model is that they actually separated the whole entire residence entrance from the the main drop off area. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we brought up we brought that uh, benefit up in our previous video at Botany as well mm. where we realised that the design of the architect in the particular project is also very similar to this as well why is that so is because when you separate the main entrance uh, the drop-off area from the main residence entrance there will be no built-up of vehicles um, during the peak hours so whenever you know during the peak hours well, people will come in for drop-off or picked up you know the, the cars will just go into this particular yeah, main drop-off area yeah mm. The residents can just turn in from here and head straight into the residence entrance. So, you know, less waiting time, less congestion. Uh, and these are some of the you know things that you know residents or buyers they don't really look look into or think, think about. Uh, but when they live there, they realize that it's a bit inconvenience. Mm. So we are on the other side. So, so this is actually the south-facing units, and this is the main big unit. So this is the four bader. And this is the four bay as well. So this is the south facing unit that's facing towards the lander enclave. Small lander enclave, but definitely a very quiet facing. Um, and definitely over here, because you are away from the military uh, military institution, you don't get any kind of like facade design that uh, limits your view. Mm. So actually you can see for each tower, all the units actually face uh, either towards the north or towards the south. Mm. So ventilation is great. In terms of view wise, none of the units are compromised because Every unit, whether you are at the corner stack, three bedder, two bedder, or even the four bedders right at the end, mm. you get to enjoy the same uh, view mm. out towards as well. You so won't I be looking into another neighbouring yes, unit. Yes, yes. Again, right, because uh, you have two blocks that is um, parallel to one another. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Look at the facade. Yeah. So, all in all, I would say that in terms of the whole entire, you realise that the whole entire area is full of greens. Uh, they even make sure that the whole entire multi-storey car park is decked in, veg, uh, in, in landscaping, in greens as well. So, you know, it, it, it basically uh, sits very well into the whole entire location of where this project is located, you know, close to nature reserve, uh, close to the nature as well. So, I think this is something that's a very nice touch as well. Mm. And I remember this. Yeah. yeah. Go see, ahead, go ahead. Join, our, go ahead first. Ours, uh, I mean, in terms of project density, 341 units, I think quite a good number. Uh, you're not overly dense, but you're also not a small boutique project. Uh, 341. And in terms of unit mix as well, uh, two to four bidders. Mm. So you have a two bidder, two plus study, three, three plus study, as well as four bidder. Mm. So it's also very clear that the developer is also trying to target. Uh, Less of the investor mm. going for one plus study, but more of the main uh, family profile, maybe young couples mm. uh, for family own stay. Yeah, while you're talking, I'm actually looking for something. I remember <laughs> there is a biker's corner here. So let's look at number 11. Biker's 11. corner. Mm. Where's 11? Ah, oh, it's here. Okay, so it's actually on that side. Come, come, Barry, here. He's like. I remember there is a biker's area where... Yeah, this is the one. So what is this biker's corner, right? So they actually allow... So because we are so close to the Bukit Dima Nature Reserve, yeah, and corridor. naturally you have a lot of like biking trail and stuff, mm. right? They even design one feature for you to wash your bicycles before you bring it home. I think that's a very nice touch by a developer. So sometimes, you know, when I'm a developer, you know, when I want to think of some of the features to bring out for development, I want to find something that uh, resonates with the location of where it's being located. Right? So in this case for Hill Haven, because I'm close to Nature Reserve, I have this feature for bike lovers who after the whole entire biking trail, they can come back and they wheel the bicycle right here, they can clean up the bicycle, they can maintain the bicycle before they go back home. I think that's also a very nice touch because it is located right beside the entrance. Uh, you don't have to go all the way deep in or in the middle of the development to go get to the feature. Yeah. 
And also, sometimes when uh, buyers are coming to new launch uh, projects and show flat, uh, certain areas or certain uh, facilities that we want to take note of are also where the substation mm. and the bin centre, all these are mm. being located. Because you don't want to hastily buy into a unit, then realise that, oh, it's actually near uh, undesirable center, spot, yeah. and that affects the exit strategy. Mm. So for Hill Haven, I think extremely ingenious, they tucked it all the way at the basement, near to the mm. basement car park. So your bin centre is here, and then your substation is also at this corner. So rest assured, at the yeah, corner, uh, none of the units will actually be affected by all this uh, undesirability. All the units are getting your premium facing, whether it's uh, towards the north or towards the yeah. southern part. So even you know when they come in to do their rounds of collection of mm. the waste and stuff, it's all hidden away. So you don't really have the view, you don't have the odour as well. So I think it's uh, some very nice considerable thoughts from the developer. right? So now, uh, this is basically a site model. So as of today, I think we have about 20... 25. 25% yeah. sold so right. far as at the day of filming today. Mm. So you can see actually the developer has uh, still sort of reserved the mm. higher floor units um, but have released the lower stacks up for sale right now. Mm. Yeah. Right, so do note the north facing units, these from level 13 onwards. These are the ones that will have that facade design uh, that will restrict the views. But otherwise, I will say that still have a pretty fair share of available units in terms of high floors. Yeah. So now 18 floors or you know, if you want to go for the south facing units, the four bedrooms, so you have still plenty of stocks that are still available. They have some form of like guiding price right here. So the two bedrooms will start from $1.38 million. In terms of PSF wise, it's about 2000 I think it's a good mm. PSF. In Good today's PSF, context. Yes, because I think mm. in today's market, if you look at a lot of the other OCR uh, new launches, mm. it has even gone up to 2005. Mm. And right. you know, uh, uh, that, that those are in different locations as well. Here, you are close by the MRT, just about 4-5 minutes. Next door, you have uh, integrated or, or sort of mixed development. Mixed development, sorry. Give you two. Uh, mixed development. Uh, connectivity, green notes are great. Mm. Um, and plenty of choices. Whether you're going for two beta, yep. different configuration, different layout, you still have good options. Mm. So 2 plus study will start from, start from a price of $1.58 million. PSM is still below $2,000. 3 bit will be 1.853. 3, 3 bit plus study is about 1.494. So 1.949, I beg your pardon. 4 bedrooms will start from 2.467, uh, which is about 1000 still below $2,000 PSF. So options are plenty, options are available. This project is still very fresh, very new. It was being launched uh, early this year, 2024. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you definitely have a lot of options available. Uh, if you are just going for rental play or you're just going for a family, you want to make for own stay, you know, there's options available. There's like right some here. of the higher floors one mm. that's still available for you to, to pick as well. So we can check out the first. Uh, Let's take a look at the show flat, flat unit, two bedrooms. Uh, so over here in the show flat of Hill Haven, you have two types of bedrooms available. One is a two bed, one is a three plus study. We're going to have a look at two of them. So for the two bedrooms on display right here, which, which type is this? This is a 700 square feet. In fact, most of, square feet, the, right. mm. most of the two bedders here belong to the dumbbell. I think right. there's only one particular uh, floor plan layout mm. that belongs to the standard, you know, corridor and then you have to walk in towards your two bedrooms at once. There side. are seven types of two bedrooms Layouts. right here. Yep. Seven types. Uh, only one type, which is type B3, that is of the traditional uh, I would say traditional, mm. about the, the usual corridor, corridor foyer, bedrooms, yeah. all on one side kind of mm. like layout. Uh, I think we have shared a lot of times, right, the benefits of dumbbell layout, the benefits of uh, long foyer area. So each of the floor plan, each of the layout have its own mm. uh, merits uh, and its own pros and cons. Mm. But definitely for a dumbbell layout, definitely you get a very efficient space planning. Um, all the bedrooms are all on one side of the living hall space. You don't get those kind of uh, long foyer area, you save on the PSF that you're paying for. Yeah the foyer area. Yeah. I would say 700 square feet in today's context is slightly on the higher, larger size of mm. a regular 2 bed 2 bath. Most of the 2 bed 2 bath that we see in a lot of other new launches, 643, 646, mm. 678 maybe, yeah. or 689 at max. 700 is slightly bigger, but if you are someone who's coming in and you really don't mind the, the slightly larger content because you want a bigger, mm. maybe bigger living, bigger balcony mm. to also double up as a dining, then I think this layout will be perfect mm. for you as well. Yeah, I do think though that Hill Haven is also one of the project. I mean, it's, uh, it's still before the whole entire URA uh, yeah. harmonization of the floor plan uh, project. Mm. So uh, henceforth, you still get the unit size of the AC latch um, considered inside here yes. as well. And the good right. thing about 700 uh, square feet is you have a potentially enclosable kitchen mm. instead of a long walkway. Some of the smaller two-bedroom 
your kitchen layout is actually at the side here. Which we makes call it, it the kitchen layout. Yeah, which makes it hard for you to do your enclosing, do your, you know, cooking and all that. Mm. So this is great. Um, mm. We can have a look at the physical. Yeah. So do take note, on mm. the left side is the default floor plan. On the right side is what the developer and the architect right here, they have designed mm. the unit for you to have a look. So there's a lot of ID. Um, finishing, there's ID yeah. touches right inside there. So uh, you have to be careful with what you see and you have to look out for the labels right there. One area <laughs> I want to talk about this as well. Don't you realize, don't you feel that the entrance is bigger than usual, right? Because um, developer has built a kind of like two, two-fold? Kind of like a two-way, two uh, yeah. one so slightly opens narrower. One slightly smaller and yeah. one bigger so entrance. So if Barry can come back here just to show, mm. right? There's actually two doors for your main entrance. Yeah. Yeah. So, so of course you can always choose to just uh, use one side. The other side you usually can you open one it, side only. Yeah, la. you can leave it closed and then maybe have some shoe cabinet at mm, the back. Correct. And all that. But it definitely helps, right? Because once you step in, you immediately realize that the foyer area this is so wide. Yeah. Can right. fit like three of me. <laughs> three of me can come in together. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the DB area. I believe this will be the DB box area. They didn't they didn't write it down. Yeah. Mm, but I believe this should be the DB box area. So coming in, this is the part where Joanne mentioned that you can technically technically mm. enclose this. Just part. add up a glass sliding door mm. if you are someone who really loves to do um, frequent cooking, mm. right? Fridge space right over here, you have additional storage. And again, uh, your top. Uh, cabinetry are also slightly recessed so it doesn't affect your headspace over here. All your kitchen appliances Kusha. by Kusha. So Kusha. it's a German brand. Your yeah. hood, uh, your hob as well as an oven. Same uh, brand. I think this is also a very nice touch as well. Yes, mm. instead of leaving it empty. Sometimes I see the oven up here and the drawer down below mm. which uh, is a bit hard for yeah, you to right. reach so I think this is great. Yeah, and then you have a condiment drawer mm. right over here. As well, yeah. Oh, so step to this side. Washer, dryer, two in one. Mm. Tuck over here. Yeah, and your so sink. Yeah. It's pretty standard. Uh, I would say, um, you know, things that is supposed to be mm. there are there, lah. Plenty of storage yeah. space. Yeah. Right. So one thing I realized also, just now we were discussing before the shoot, right? Uh, these are all Wi-Fi enabled appliance. Yeah. Uh, once again, I think at the age of where we are, it's kind of a digital age. A lot of things are starting to get you know, smart connection. Uh, mm, modernized. Right, it's a lot of technology. Like, mm. yeah. So all these are things that is a very nice touch. Yeah. And then as we head on into your proper uh, two bedder, so dumbbell layout, but mm. bedrooms on two sides. Mm. You have a small uh, setback here for your dining mm. area so that it doesn't eat into your walking space. I think it's very smart if you do an L shape exactly. This is probably what I would do. L shape and then you can fit more. Don't you think that all developers side? love to do this kind of dining set? It's like everybody <laughs> is like all developers will envision all families to have like uh you know all the dinings to be all pushed to the side. Mm. But naturally they will have to do this because um, ultimately it's to showcase the space lah. Right, um, but do take note that you know when once of course when you do this, mm. definitely it's uh, space. Uh, you have a lot of space, uh, resulting in a lot of space to while you walk around, mm. uh, and you can also turn this into a storage at the bottom yeah. as well, a uh, which is a, mm. a, a nice touch. But if you want to have like a small table that you push it against the wall, it's also doable as well. Mm. Probably up to a size of four seater. Yeah. Mm, yeah, right. four, four seater and then your living which then leads you out to your balcony. In fact, this balcony is really pretty sizable. Very, I can I, imagine yeah. shifting my four I will put the dining seater, set outside here. Yeah, dining. I will put my dining set right here, yeah. do up a zip track. You, you can know. have your barbecue here, right. steamboat here. Mm. Yeah. Do take note that there's water point, there's electrical point as well. So nice touch as well. So water point for you to do some washing right here. Um, electrical point right here as well. Um, do take note that um, the design of the balcony <coughs> will be in a form of aluminium capping. Right, so this is actually not what you will get. I don't think this is what you will get. Yeah, so what you will get is probably an aluminium capping. So do have to take note of the kind of like design wise. Yeah, so two bedrooms, maybe we can start off with the, this Flooring one. wise, I think this uh, very interesting touch. They used uh, a matte finishing. Is this homogeneous tiles? Yes. Homogeneous tiles? Yes. Homogeneous, right? Homogeneous tiles. Yeah, so homogeneous tiles, matte finishing. So, uh, you know, ultimately it's all about durability as well. So, 
in terms of this kind of finishing, uh, then naturally you won't see those kind of like scratch marks or mm. um, you know as as you won't see scratch marks and it's also easier to maintain as well. Yep. Anti sleep, you know. So a lot of practical reasons or. Uh, and homogeneous styles are also very durable as well. Mm. So I think that's something... Easy maintenance. Right. Yeah. So common buff is actually here and this is a Jack and Jill. Mm. So Jack and Jill, you have entrance from either the main this corridor side or, or from the bedroom. Yes, the bedroom. So even for a rental play, each of the tenants can have your own ensuite, which is perfect as well. But also just to note, because this is uh, the smaller configuration, so they're also using mechanical vent mm. as their ventilation. Yeah, and naturally because the two bedders are all located in the middle of the block. So when it's located in the middle of the block, uh, you're not on the side of the block, yeah. then naturally the units that's in the middle, uh, you don't get any kind of like window access uh, mm. from the bathroom. But otherwise, I would say that this is a pretty good sizable uh, bathroom. Not too big, but good size for you to move around. You don't feel really cramped here. Wall hung WC. Uh, so this is also more premium. Usually wall hung uh like uh, a little bit more um, uh, pricey than the usual yeah. one. So that's why they have a half height uh, concealed uh, water tank right over mm. there. Right. So storage, I think, wow, this is like really a lot of uh, storage one, as well. One, two, three. Three panels all together. And steel plus open shelving for you to place out of your commonly used items as well. Yeah. So these are also some very nice touches mm. as well. Do take note that lighting may not be part of yeah, lighting may not be part. Yeah, usually those yes, belong correct. to ID, ID treatment. ID treatment, they mentioned over well. here. So maybe Barry can come back here and just do a close-up shoot. So whenever you visit a show flat, always look out for these kind of boards because they will tell you that which are things that comes with a unit and which are things that is actually ID treatment. So in this unit, uh, all the light fittings and integrated cabinet light fittings are all ID treatment. Just to give you some inspiration of what you can do when you eventually buy the unit and do renovation. Mm. But uh, mm. don't expect it to become by default. Yeah. So common bedroom right over here. I think the size is also pretty decent. Wardrobe that is tucked towards this side. So you have an entryway into your bathroom. Mm. And then definitely you can fit up a super single, single like what you have here or even a queen uh, that's tucked towards the side. Because our AC compressor latch is over at the corner. So that's why you have this uh, half window, mm. half height window mm. as well. So it's pretty common. Mm. I think overall the size, I mean for a seven nine, uh, 700 square feet mm. bedroom size, the, the sizing will be pretty decent. Yeah. yeah. And flip over to... Flooring wise, this is yeah. what? Oh, vinyl flooring. Vinyl flooring mm. as well for the bedrooms. And then on the opposite end, that would be your master uh, bedroom with your own ensuite over on this corner. And here you get to enjoy because you are in the master bedroom, you get to enjoy your full height uh, glass uh, transparent ceiling window. And just to note, this part is uh, not openable, it's a full piece. So it allows you to enjoy the unblocked view. Here at the corners, you have two pieces of uh, window window frames as well. I think nowadays, this kind of design is very common that we start to see from a lot of developers. Mm. Uh, they start to utilize this kind of design. I think one yeah. of the first few projects that I saw before is Park Esta. Mm. Uh, they use this and we call it a glass curtain mm. kind of design. Or they will call it, sorry, this is not a glass curtain. They call it a window picture frame design. So it really looks like a picture frame in mm. one whole piece itself. Uh, so at least, you know, you don't have a separation zone in the middle. But otherwise, um, this is also very standard as well. Hmm? Also one corner. of the new features that I think you start to see as a norm that you expect mm. uh, developers to put uh, to, to give you uh, in every unit. So you have a mirror, some um, storage place. This is also all the way full height. Yep, yeah, to the height. ceiling. Mm. Mm. So sliding. Soft closing. Mm. Yep. Both left and right. On the top is shelving as well. So yeah, so this is uh, I'll say it's pretty decent for a uh, two bed. Yeah, and then heading into your master bath, so you have a timber swing door that's over here. And again, plenty of storage. This is like a four panel. You have your shower screen, as well as the rain shower mm, that's pretty. here. Uh, done up for you. So again, good size. Tiling wise, very neutral. I love all these uh, matte tiles as well. Mm. Light grey tonality. And then ample lighting points. Great storage mixture of Concealed as well as open shelving. Mm. So I think, yeah, very, very um, good touch, very usable, very functional. Mm. One thing to well. note, uh, master bedroom in Hillhaven comes with this total washlet. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, so this is a two-bedder. Still, it offers a total washlet. So you have a 
uh, remote as well. So these are some of the little nice touches um, that you get. Uh, and this is also some of the mm. things that um, it used to be belongs to something that's very premium, premium. project. So mm. when you go to very premium projects, CCR projects, Lux project, then you usually get this kind of like total washlet. But yeah. um, nowadays you start to see this coming in. And I think it's also a very good um, way of uh, bringing value down the value chain. Yeah. Uh, and it's great because uh, I think developer is also trying to bring all this uh, CCR kind of lifestyle mm. into the OCR area mm. at OCR pricing. Right. So definitely a bang for a buck. And then, yeah. uh, so this is a two bedder dumbbell. We can pop over to our neighbor unit. That three bedroom is plus study. Three plus study yeah. over there. Oh, one more thing. Here, Bari. Cushion <laughs> heater system, central heater system. Yeah, so basically it comes in, so you can basically control all the temperature, you can define the temperature for the whole entire house. So all these are very nice touches that uh, the developers have put in. Hmm. So right. just next door would be your tree plus study, hmm. tree plus flexi, or you can even convert it to a store because there's a multiple usage. So if we just take a look here, this stands at, of course, right now, uh, what the developer is showing, this is actually your penthouse uh, yeah. unit. So it's on the 27th floor. And that's why later, once we head on in, you'll notice a high ceiling of 4.5 meters as mm. well. The regular, I would say the regular 3 plus uh, study size will be around 958 square feet. Mm. So which is still uh, quite a good size uh, because 958, you're able to fit in a study. You have your proper... Uh, good sized kitchen, uh, enclosable as well, and of course with a small balcony at the side. Yep. Come, let's hurry in. Mm. So again, the entrance, huge. Very nice entrance. Yeah. So once you walk in, before you hit into the living hall area, this will be your entrance to the kitchen. It features a pocket door. Mm that allows you to enclose it. Yes, so there's a timber sliding door mm. right over here that uh, is helpful for you to just close up your kitchen as well. Yeah. Also, just to know all these uh, fluted panels are also ID treatment. These are ID treatments. Yes. So I believe this should be a wall over here, but mm. it's a nice touch though, if yeah. you ask me. It's a good idea. Yeah. It's a good idea. So Very uh, woody kind of feel. Yeah, countertop, L-shape, plenty of uh, storage uh, space. Again, your... Uh, cooker, hood and hob. I think just now the other one was uh, induction. Yes. This one you can Open definitely flame. do your walk here because you yes. have a huge window over yes. here. Right. So you well. have windows over here. Do think that this unit doesn't come uh, doesn't comes with a yard in a WC. So this is a three bedroom uh, plus study, yes, yeah. but it doesn't come with a yard. So um, naturally you have a windows right here for ventilation. Um, and then similarly you have all this uh, like a condiment drawer. Right, with a uh, soft closing and then lots of uh, storage space, drawers. This is your cutlery's drawer yeah. as well, right? Mm. So organizers are already built in as well, so which is great. Mm. And free space over there. So where our videographer is standing, this is actually your flexi room. So of course, uh, it will come... Is this considered flexi room or this is uh, like a flexi, study? Flexi, study, right. store room. Okay. However mm. you want to do it, you can place your piano here if you want to. Um, there will be a sliding door that's over uh, here. A sliding door that goes in here. So yes. this is a dry, dry wall. wall. So imagine the actual unit, this is actually a wall. It is not open concept like this. So it's a wall right here and then a sliding door that goes right in. Yeah, but there's a window right here yeah. as well. So, so there's a window mm. behind the blind. So if you want to convert this to a guest room, mm. uh, baby's room, helper's room, definitely plenty of uh, usage and pretty good size. I mean, I can imagine fitting yeah, like a, a piano here single as well. bed. Yeah, you still have space for mm. some wardrobe at the side. Mm. Yeah, two-way entry. So it's great. And then on the outside here, maybe, will yeah. be your so dining. So this is a place where once you step in, uh, this will be the feel that you get as a penthouse unit. And naturally, for a penthouse unit with this kind, with this kind of like high ceiling, uh, it definitely allows the whole entire space to look bigger, to make it look more grand. Yes. You can have a very nice chandelier that you hang right in the middle of this whole entire space. It whole, makes the whole entire place look much more posh. Correct. So uh, this is the penthouse unit as mentioned. Mm. So the size is at 1195 mm. square feet. Um, ceiling height, you're getting about 4.5 meters. Mm. So the regular size for a 3 plus study or 3 plus store 
um, will be at 958. But still, I think internally, your living, dining, very good size. Again, your balcony space, very usable. Uh, you can, like Wayne mentioned, he will prefer to fit his dining right over here as well. Mm. So this actually helps to enlarge your, your living space. Yeah, but do think though that probably for a penthouse unit, then I don't think you, you have to... I mean, if you want to build a zip track, then naturally you have to build a certain level or a certain form of a shelter mm. on the top in order for you to anchor the whole entire track. But yes. otherwise, for the lower floor units, you are able to do that uh, because you do have the roof of neighbor. that. Mm, yeah, from the neighbor neighbor unit. Yeah. All right, so naturally for this three plus study unit, uh, you also get this uh, same kind of like homogeneous floor tiles mm. as what you have seen from the earlier units. Yeah. So I think this is the kind of like default theme that the developer is using across the whole entire units mm. right here in Hill Haven. Very easy to maintain, durable. I think that's what they are going after. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. So coming in, of course, uh, this will be the first common bedroom. First common bedroom, uh, I would say that, you know, because of the number of bedrooms available, so naturally one of the bedrooms, uh, they will feature a single size bed. So right over here, this is what you see over here. You probably can use it for your children's room, a child's room or a guest room. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, not, 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 much, uh, not many people staying with you. Uh, you have also um, this kind of like uh, the two panels of uh, windows that you can open, the same kind of like treatment that you get in the two bedrooms mm. unit. I would say that pretty decent size. In fact, I think this is probably about seven to maybe say nine square meters. Mm. And I think yeah. all the bedrooms should be fairly similar. So mm. if we go over to the other um, bedroom, it should also be like a mirror. It should be a mirror image. image sure. But here they actually fit in a queen. Yes. Just to a show us. and a queen. Yeah the space utilization. So even with a queen, you still have space for a bedside table mm. right over there. Doesn't obstruct your uh, wardrobe space, sliding wardrobe I'm space saying, that's over here. Yep. So you can, I can still stand right here, I can still open up and I can still pick up my clothes. So there's still a walking mm. distance, still a good, it doesn't feel like too yep. cramped. Yeah, so if you do yeah. need to fit in maybe a queen for your common bedroom, then this also shows you that it's definitely possible as well. The very last room would be your master. But before that, let's yeah. talk about the common bathroom, bathroom first. Yeah, so this is a common bathroom. Timber swing door. Timber swing door. You get uh, this standing shower area. Notice that they actually built this small little shelf uh, for your um, toiletries. And, your and I believe it's the same material as your countertop. Mm. Yeah. yeah right. And I love that there is a window mm -hmm. right over here. So again, great ventilation. Mm. <laughs> it looks yeah. like it's gonna take a shower already. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, wall hung uh, your WC as well. And this is the same kusha heater system. And this is actually uh, kind of like a different master bedroom layout that Wayne likes. Because yeah, come, you get more let me tell you why. So as all master bedrooms when you walked in, uh, naturally you only get one side as a window. Mm. Um, you don't really get two sides window, very rare. Um, and certain developments, they will do that. Like maybe in part as far as my memory can you know, allows me to recall, they only have one side, which is like an L shape, this side, and then this side will be all wall. Yep. But you realize that when you step into this Hill Haven unit, um, this three bedroom unit for study, you get, I would say pretty much a 90 degree Mm. Right, kind of like, uh, or not, not really a 90 degree, degree but a uh, right angle, mm. two side panels of windows. Yeah. You get a big openable uh, windows right here, a tall window, and then over here, it allows a lot of light to come in. Um, and it allows, also offers a lot of ventilation as well. So, naturally, when you step into this room, you feel that actually, you know, there's a lot of connection with the outside. Mm. Right. Exactly. And if you belong to maybe some of these two corner stacks, right? Mm. You can see that your master bedroom is actually at the corner. You get kind of like an unblocked view. This one again also unblocked towards this side mm. as well. So having more windows also allow you firstly uh, to have more natural daylight mm. so that your bedroom is also, you know, uh, naturally illuminated. Second mm. thing is with more windows, you also have a little bit more facing, mm. a little bit more of that, that, that view out from mm. your master bedroom itself. Right. Um, but the flip side of this design. Yes. Come, Joanne. What's the flip side for of this design? For certain stacks. So for stack 10, I believe. Uh, if let's say you're at stack 10, 
then your master bedroom will actually be facing towards the middle part of the block. Mm. So stack selection is also very important depending mm. on whether you want to go for something that has more of an unblocked view or if you want to keep your quantum lower, I believe mm. stack 10 uh, might be priced just slightly lower mm. than the other stacks as well. Yep, yeah, correct. But size, I think great. This is a king and you have space at the side for your bedside uh, table. Great walking space. I mean, your Good kids can run around. Right here as well. Yeah, your, your young toddler can run around. Wardrobe is tucked nicely at the side. And then you have a master bathroom that's at the corner here as well with your rain shower that's uh, up there. Yeah, yeah, but what we, what I was like asking uh, Joanne earlier on was like in terms of this kind of design wise, mm. right? Um, you realize that uh, when you step in, Come on, Barry, come on. <laughs> yeah, when you step in, um, naturally you you expect the the bed side, the, the, the back of the bed mm. to be on that side of the wall. Because that's naturally all the bedrooms, the configuration yep. when yep. you walk in, uh, you have the bed on the other side. Right? So but you, because of the design of the windows in that manner, um, it's not possible for you to have the bed on that side right now, mm. right? Which is on this side of the wall. Henceforth, now the bed is on the flip side, yep. which some people they may not like. Uh, why? Because you are uh, right in front of the bathroom mm. uh, door and entrance. Yeah, I will. Um, I will fight to to take that corner. <laughs> I'll take that corner. Yeah, yeah, and also because of this small little warp area, then maybe you know the the size of the TV. If you want to have a TV, um, mm. cannot be too big, Yeah. Otherwise, you just jut out. You know, towards uh, the well, side. Alternatively, well. you can just install a. Projector. Uh, projector and then have a drop down screen yeah, if that's really well. what you prefer mm. but this gives you that, that flexibility if you really want you know sometimes when you're out and you're not in the room and you want to you know uh, have that daylight coming in then you have all the windows that's yeah. nicely framing I mean the design the wise I, I definitely like it because mm. it definitely gives uh, a different perspective to the master bedroom uh, definitely a, a, a very big kind of yep. like um, size yep. uh, the kind of visual effect like, if you were to ask me mm. Um, and also for the master bed as well, it also comes with this little pocket right here that opens. Accessory corner. Very standard across uh, all the bedroom types and also as well in the master bathroom, uh, you have your total washlet as well. Mm. Um, I think this is all very nice touches yep. uh, that is available in all the units. So we have come pretty much close towards the tail end of the whole entire uh, new launch for Hugh Haven Show Flat mm. tour. Um, right now in terms of units mix available right now. Plenty. Plenty. Regardless of whichever configuration you want, whatever stack, uh, floor level, you have options and that's great because mm. sometimes buyers love coming into new launch project because they want to pick a specific stack, a specific floor level mm. that really fits their needs right. and that's why at Hugh Haven you have the option that's right. there for you there. It's very different from resale because resale you pick whatever that's yep. available in the yep. market for new launch, uh, you own it first hand. Mm -hmm. Brand new, you have your progressive payment as well. Yes. So in terms of financing wise, it's also very different from yeah. resale. Um, mm. Two bedrooms, all the way up to four bedrooms. Plenty of units available for you to choose from. But do take note, anything that's above level 19 onwards to 27 floor, they are not open for sale right now. Mm. So anything you want to get is all from 18 floors and below. Yes, yeah, that's right. right. So all in all, I think that's great. Uh, we are in an area. So if you are here uh, and you have grown up in this area, you mm. like to move into this very quiet part of Singapore, you want to be very close to the nature reserve, uh, but at the same time, you also do not want to compromise your connectivity, mm. right, uh, from the, uh, you know, the city center area. Yeah. You want to be close connection with all the, you know, the MRT area. So I think this is a nice spot for you to think of, mm. uh, for you to consider as well. One of the new launches available in this part of um, Singapore. Yes. Pricing-wise, still very good. Still very palatable as well. PSF. 2009, 2000 PSF. Uh, coming into, you're just four minutes from MRT. You're not paying the premium of that CCR kind of pricing, mm. but yet you get all these touches. You get all this uh, development, the facilities. That's almost like what you see in a lot of the city fringe mm. CCR projects. So I think great. Uh, option for a lot of the buyers to consider. Developers wise, they are also good developers, big mm. brand developers, Far East organization, um, Sekisui Seki, Seki, Seki yes. housed. Yeah, right. So these are all the big brands in the market uh, and in terms of the finishing, you definitely will expect a certain level of premium yep. and um, good quality kind of workmanship. Right. So if you are interested to find out more about Hugh Haven, uh, feel free to reach out to any of our new launch consultants uh, or if you want to 
um, you know, do some form of like portfolio management, you know, or if you want to find out just more about, you know, how can I buy a new launch or what are the things that's being involved, the kind of like financial the calculations. The intricacies, the technicalities, the process, the yeah. timeline. Down to even the unit selection, stack exactly. analysis, you yeah. know, we are very happy to help you with that job. Uh, we're happy to help you with the consult, so do reach out to us if you have any questions. So with that, we have come to the end of our Hill Haven new launch, Show Fat Tour. So um, do keep a lookout for other contents on our PRB Insights channel mm. uh, and stay tuned for the next one coming up. So my name is Wayne. Joanne. Property Brothers. Always, always happy to show you the place. Bye. Mm.